And welcome back to XCOM, guys. We last left off. <clears throat> we had another fairly successful mission. Um, so the only thing left to do now is research. And we will be researching. We are doing the disruptor pulse launcher there. We need general stores, living quarters. We need a workshop here. Another one, maybe. Hmm. How many men can we hold here? Only... Only another 30. Okay. So what we can do is get some more scientists. 30 more scientists at the cost of 1.8 million. But I think... Oh, is it even worth it? Uh... Yes, maybe I think. I think it is worth it to just rush through the research tree. How many more scientists can we have here? Mm -hmm. Can I have 10 more scientists here? So I think that's probably a good idea. Oops. So 10 more scientists. That is so expensive. Holy shit. 10 more scientists, and we'll get 30 more scientists here as well. So, purchase recruit. There we go. Yep, and now we're kind of poor again, but I think it's worth it. And we got all of our Zerbite there. Cool. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Why the why the way? Why the way? Ours. Why the way? Why the way sonar is now complete? Um, cool, I guess. So that's now operational. We now have another sensor network over the other side of the world. We do need to start tying these together with uh, interception bases, but that can wait for a little while. Sonic oscillators. Okay. Go back to manufacturing. New production, because we need money, yo. And we need money now. We need to be riding the green cloud. There we go. Oh, it's only going to make us like a million a month, but eh, it's kind of better than nothing. Um, damn. Oof. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We do need money coming in. And we've got the Aquatoid Corpse. A detailed analysis of this creature shows, uh, allows us to make some basic assumptions. It is a sectoid, our former foes, but changed by surgical methods and implants uh, to be an aquatic creature. Vestigial lungs allow the breathing of air and limited surface mobility. There are cybernetic implants throughout the body, enhancing the strength of its astrophied limbs and the function of its organs. As all of the members of this race are identical, we hypothesize that these creatures are clones. Indeed. Indeed. Um, let's go for Lobster Man Corpse. It seems like it's going to be fun. Okay. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the meat grinder, my friend. Excellent. More scientists. Research. Get every... Oh, right. Yes. Because we've got the five aquanauts. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, 45 is fine. Um, research 90. Get everybody on that. That is like end game stuff, so I'm not surprised that's going to take a while. That's fine. Uh, Barracuda 5 is ready to rock. Cool. Go to base. So we want to transfer to R&D. We could get sonic cannons out there, I suppose. Just a few. Just keep those guys ticking over, I guess. 
Um, we could even take a, a disruptor pulse launcher. Um, but I think we're probably going to... Well, we're not going to need that many. Nah, we'll hold on to those, I think. We do need those ourselves. So we want the sonic oscillators. Two of those. Cool. Done. Yes. Nice. Sonic oscillator. Sonic cannon. Cannon power clip. Sweet. Okay. So let's equip our new Barracuda 5. And get her rolling with these. Okay. She's now armed and dangerous. Small touchdown. <laughs> Oof. There is no way in hell we are making that um, before it takes off. It's just not happening. Um, shit. That's really... Really unfortunate. Right, magnetic iron armor. Let's try and get some of these guys loaded up with some decent armor. Ensign. But you're wounded, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully, everyone. Oh god, there's like four dudes. Literally four dudes on the sub which <clears throat> is um, not good to say the least let's be fair uh, okay equip sub Triton crew you 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 I mean we got nine soldiers I suppose You've got no armor. You can have iron armor. Everyone that doesn't have armor can have. Yeah. So everyone's got armor. Um, get that bad boy on board. Got plenty of ammo. Let's make sure there's 50 reloads on that thing at all times. Thermal shock launchers, I guess. Sonic pulses, why not? Got a hundred of them. Sonic blaster rifles we don't need. Okay. Yep. Space used eleven. Oof. Well, I mean that's better than nothing, question mark, I guess. Uh Barracuda 5 can patrol the area. It's kind of close to their base, to be honest. But, I mean, there's there's no chance we're going to make it there. Surely. Surely. Before it takes off. And also, Barracuda is going to be out of fuel as well, I'd wager. So, let's get Barracuda 3 there as well. I want this sucker. Oh, oh, it's off. <sighs> Damn it, okay. Shit. Right, return to base, people. False alarm. That was unfortunate. We also need to start thinking about having another base here, I reckon. We can see what. Oof. Where's that to? It's there. Okay, intercept. Barracuda 3. Kill it. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Continue. Come on. Yes, go for it. Go for it. 
Oh, those sonic oscillators really are a game changer. Oh, man. Okay. Um... Oh, I know what we needed to buy as well. I know what we really needed to buy. Equip submarine. I bet we haven't got them. We don't. We don't. We don't. Die grenade. God damn it. I can't believe we don't have those. Um, purchase recruit. One chemical flares. What happens at all of our chemical flares? No, really. Let's just do a bit of save scumming here. Can we wait? Can we wait until morning for this thing? Yes, yes we can. Right, go. I don't like doing that, but we kind of need to do the mission. We have to, in fact. It's annoying that they do disappear after a while. I think you should uh, have a few more options when it comes to that kind of stuff, really. Okay, we... Ooh. I'm guessing... Yeah, that one's not loaded. Fair. Okay. Okay. Everyone should be good. There's the sub, straight off the bat. We're against Gilman. Excellent. That we can handle. We can see two. Where are you? Where are you? can't see that one. There you are. Okay. Oof. See three. Oh, man. <clears throat> They're waiting for us, huh? One. What sort of... Okay. 44. One dead. Back in the boat. H. I want you to give me an accurate shot. Although I guess you can't. What about an aim? No. What about... Snap, 48%. Hey, it's still good. Uh, and you can't move. Okay. What about you, Nico? How many? You need... Alright. Where's that other one, then? There you are. That's why you couldn't see him. Who's got a grenade? Prime it. You've got four to use. Let's get you standing there. You throw you you throw you you pick throw. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this is going to get ugly? Oh, no, no. Oof. Okay. And relax. Ooh. That was actually quite impressive. To be honest. Aim shot, 70%. Make it happen. Nice kill, H. 
Although you are stuck where you are now, which is disappointing. Let's see if there's anybody else back here. Yeah, looks more or less good. Okay. You don't have the decent armor. I mean, you do have decent armor, but not the decent armor. Alright, let's get some snipers on Overwatch up here. Now we don't need to use the sub as the sniper vessel. Now we can just have air support, almost. Which is freaking wonderful. Let's just say that much. Let's get everybody out. And as we've already said, uh, this armor is a little bit more resilient as well. It's not... Ooh! Nice. It's not like... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, guys, man. They're on fire. Not bad, guys. Not bad. I think we're probably fine over here. Ooh! He says, with utmost confidence, not realizing that actually there is a slimy little shit stain just down here. <clears throat> Was a slimy little shit stain just down there. Oof. What have we got? 101% chance. Oh, they're dropping like flies. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity of it all. Uh, another one? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Ooh. Can anyone get eyes on that guy? I bet you can. Aimed. 36. Can you make it happen? Can you thread the needle? You can. You're a hero. You'll go down. Oh, there's a hero. Well, she's fired her wad. Yes. Panic, you fools. Nice. We might actually get out of this with our tank um, in one piece, too. I mean, never say never. Because this is XCOM. But it's looking possible. So we've already got someone panicking, which is nice. I do like it when the enemy panics. And they cower in fear. It makes me happy. Because these things are small victories in XCOM. In a game where you spend so much of it totally outgunned. We like when the tables start turning. Ooh, there's the panicked guy. Technician. Um, well, if we just wait here, are they just going to roll up to us? reach out and introduce themselves with a disgusting Gilman bug hand. Yep, there's definitely still more in the ship, which that's totally to be expected. Certainly nothing un unheard of there. Uh, do we want to move in? Oh! Oh! Oh, you sneaky sausage, you. How bad is it, H? Oh. <laughs> H laughs. Pathetic. Try again, sir. Oh, right, right, right. You won't get the chance to try that again, will you? Um, you you're out of ammunition, but you can go and scout for me. Kind of like what I was saying. You never know an XCOM. 
it's so easy to fall into a sense of uh, false sense of security but you never know there could be any enemies anywhere once you get these iron armors though oh man like it makes exploration so much easier and soon we'll get the improved vehicle as well the underwater vehicle which will be nice looks like we might have to breach even with decent armor I I don't like breaching these even with the good stuff but we don't have too much choice you take a knee there, make sure no one moves. Ah, oh, someone else has panicked as well, technicians. It would be nice to start capturing like technicians and whatnot. Um, so on that note, actually... H, you're good. You can come back. You can come back and get another stun gun, I think. I think that might be a good idea. Because what you can do is you can go in there and go on a bug hunt. Unless he charges out by himself and gets himself utterly murdered. Which I wouldn't even mind. I wouldn't even mind if he did that. There we go. You got two chances now. Well, maybe, maybe we don't get that chance. Oh, he's the stun launcher. Oofed. So, thread that needle. <sighs> he didn't listen to me. Or, you know, there's more of them in there than I thought. Okay. You, I want you to come down the front of the sub. You're at a horrible angle, that. Uh, right. Yeah, you can push the advance. I'm surprised there's not more of them panicking to be honest after that slaughter I really am you can come in this way yeah well I mean that's cool <laughs> I would have preferred to um, take the guy alive because I don't think technicians are that useful. You you do learn some cool stuff, but they're not the be all and end all. So, lots more rankings up. We do need three more men. Definitely need three more men because. I want a full squad. And as you can see, once you get iron armor and magnetic iron armor, it, that's the first point in the game where your men actually feel like they have a chance. You know? So, let's return. I don't think anyone got injured either, which was nice. Okay, return. Um, bases. Funds are not fantastic, but hopefully we're just about to sort that out. We've got two more magnetic armors. Don't need those. Don't need that. Definitely don't need those. Yeah, and we're just like making so much money now as well. It's really nice. Sonic pulses we don't really need. We've got more thermal shock bombs. Um don't really need the launchers to be honest we've already got like 
lots on the ship. So we can get rid of those. We've got, oh my god. Now we've got the magnetic armor. We can seriously start thinking about going into the base. Uh, yeah, we don't need those. Don't need the blast clips either. So many sonic cannons. We'll keep that at 10. We'll keep a stock of 10. They've totally stopped using pistols now. Which is fine. Okay. It's another cool million and a half. Um, general stores is almost ready. The wide array sonar is there. Uh, we could build another facility. Uh, we could build a sub pen. Oh, sub pens are cheap. Relatively speaking. Yeah, because once this place gets up and running, uh, it will be constructing our own technology subs. So, okay. Very happy with how that went. Um, yes, research complete. Disruptor pulse launcher. Disruptor pulse launcher. This uh, is an alien aquatic use only guided weapon firing self propelled disruptor projectiles. When you click to fire the weapon, it will generate waypoints. Yeah for the projectiles follow when you have positioned enough waypoints click the launch icon so yeah it's basically the um, blaster bomb launcher from the first game it is a guided missile uh, that doesn't really ever miss it's yeah it's end game it is immense so now we are going to research the ammunition for it. Where is the ammo? Disruptor ammo, there we go. Get all 100 scientists on that. And now we wait. Chemical flares, excellent. Okay, cool, that's fine. We are generating money. Uh, intercept. Where are you? Barracuda 5? Happy hunting. It is getting close to that alien base. And it's trying to intercept me. No, it's not. General stores. Cool. Okay. Lobster Man Corpse. Research complete. Uh, once past its virtually indestructible shell, the creature is an amazing construction. Powerful muscles ripple around titanium a titanium skeleton. A sophisticated targeting system with multi-band scanning ability is hooked directly into the creature's brain. Uh, its multiple eyes are protected by harder than steel plastics and it's clear that when well deployed by their masters these creatures are all but unstoppable. Buried deep within its body are devices of unknown construction and function. Yeah. Yeah those things are monstrous. And even when they lose their weapon, they have melee claws, which are just hideous. They hurt. So, let's go for the Tricene Corpse. Why not? Start knocking some of this research out. Oh, we just missed it. Tracking lost. Um, return to base. We're getting close towards the end of the month here. Which is concerning. Disruptor ammo. There we go. 210 damage. This device is a disruptor pulse projectile fitted with an onboard computer guidance system. It's fired from a disruptor pulse launcher. Yep, they are horrible. And we can get the PWT cannon from that, which I don't think we really need. It is kind of like an end game weapon, but. We're not going to use it. I don't think I've ever used it, to be honest. Um, now, let's go for... What can we go for here? Alien Origins. Uh, let's go for the Biodrone Terrorist. We have one of those alive. Okay, so if we go to Allocate Manufacture... 
So they're almost done. Cool. Um, how much does the disruptor ammo take? Three zerbite per round. Yeah. That's expensive. Right, mag iron armor is done. Dump everybody back onto that. Okay. And they're just going to keep cracking that out. So now we have the blaster bomb launcher. How many aquanauts do we have? E who's wounded? Uh, equipped submarine, Triton. Okay, so nearly back up to full full squad now. Let's have a look at armor. Um, give you the magnetic iron armor. So, pretty much everyone that can have it. Magnetic iron, magnetic iron. So there are a few people. So we still need two new suits of that stuff. Okay. Noted. Thermal shock bombs, get all those on board. Only really need two of those. Uh, sonic pulses, we've got 15 of them. Disruptor pulse launchers, I mean, sure. I can't believe how much ammo we've got for those. That's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Um, yeah, also, bases, build. Um, manufacture, we do want two more units of magnetic iron. Yeah, we've got a lot. We've got we've got plenty. Two more. Okay, that's fine. Let's yeah. Sure, why not? Two days, eight hours. That's fine. Two nice. Biodrone terrorist. The biodrone is a creation only an alien mind could conceive of. It is a brain, human or alien, suspended in uh, amniotic fluid and connected to a powered base unit that can fly on land or below water. Each biodrone is armed with a powerful auditory disruptor. Part machine and part organism, some of our scientists have suggested that the weapon is driven by the host organism's original vocal cords. Oof. Highly accurate and tenacious, these Super guard dogs are wildly used by the aliens to protect valuable assets. Yes, nasty things. We will go for the biodrone corpse. Horrible, horrible things. Um, research complete. Tricene. Ah, yes, the Tricene. Once subjected to the scientist's knife, the Tricene reveals that it is an ancient creature. Uh, supplemented with cybernetic implants and weapon systems, its tiny brain is supplemented by a small computer module mounted in the control harness. All of uh, all the creatures wear a tough natural skin. A predatory instinct, enhanced by additional weapons, makes this a lethal opponent in all environments. Oof. Yep. New project. Let's go for. Tazuth, I suppose? Yes. Go slice one of these open. Come on. Give me that magnetic. There we go. Magnetic armor done. Okay. So, what we're going to do now with this place is we've got 21 units of workspace available. Okay. And what we're going to do with that, um, I think I'm going to hire more workshop staff. And it's going to be XCOM 1 that just produces obscene amounts of cash for us. Although, we are kind of close to the end of the month. We might wait for the end of the month before we do anything too drastic. Um, now, I think we're getting close 
to wanting to take this out. I'm not a fan of that idea because I really don't like alien based missions in Terror from the Deep. I hate them in fact. They're really frustrating to do. But we have to. We have no choice. If we do them correctly, and I'm expecting like 40 to 50 aliens on each <laughs> each section, if we do it correctly, then <sighs> we will get a lot of resources for it. <sighs> it's just such a pain in the ass, such an undertaking and it's so dangerous we need to sell those sell a couple more of those, sure oh no yeah, we'll sell a couple more of those, that's fine um, chemical flares, that's fine solid harpoon bolts, we need some more of them Although we don't really, yeah, we're kind of past using that as a weapon platform, to be honest. So it's just mm, all about gearing up now. Might be worth waiting for, the, for some of these guys to come back. 19 days, 11 days, 3 days. Once all of our guys are back, then yes, I think it's Assault the Base time. It really is, Biodrone Corpse. The hypothesis is that the auditory disruptor is a biological... Um, the hypothesis that the auditory disruptor is a biological device are true. Shouldn't it be is true? Oh no, the hypothesis, yeah, fair enough. This unfortunate creature literally screams its enemies to death. Every example has had massive surgical trauma scars and is severely mutilated. The aliens appear to butcher the brain into obedience. Oof. Most of the cortexes used in the creatures are alien in origin, but nothing can compare to the horror of finding a human-based unit. The biodrones are powered by an iron engine and incorporate some form of remote control system. Huh. So they're actually like literal drones. That's pretty rough. Now, next. Alien learning arrays? I don't think we're gonna... Let's go for the transmission resolver. That'll be nice. Okay, so... Now we can... Get some... If we purchase and recruit... Technicians. As many as we can have. It's almost going to cost all of our money. So let's just get another 40. Okay. Expensive, but it will be worth it. Small, very deep. Uh, Barracuda 5, get it. Will it get it? Yes, take it out. Ooh. Nice kill, nice kill. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Now, will we beat? Uh, no. Will we beat? The Horizon. Everyone's wounded. Okay, space available one. Uh, armor is all, yep. Yeah. Iron armor, no, magnetic. Magnetic, so everyone's got the good stuff. Okay, cool. And we will go for intercept, Triton 1, go. And I don't think we're going to make it there before night time. Unless we're lucky. Nope, we're not going to be lucky. And... I did also forget <laughs> to put the flares on board, didn't I? Pretty sure I forgot to put the flares on. 
yeah, so that's going to be fun for the next video. That's that's going to be enjoyable. Oh man, I am an idiot. I am an absolute moron. Deep water with no flares. I mean, it's a small. So there's that. We could actually try this bad boy out. I don't know if that would just be a disgusting waste of power. And these actually take up two units, don't they? Yeah. And they are heavy. Kind of. As you sort of would expect them to be. So. Yeah. I mean, you probably could roll with it like that. Yeah, you could. It's a shame you can't rotate ammo. That would be cool. So each person can basically hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots with each with each one. Which isn't terrible. But anyway guys, that's gonna have to wait for the next video. So thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.